Hi everybody, one of your four mark questions in your ASAQA micro and ASAQA macro paper will be a data question. And in that question, you will either have to identify two significant points of comparison or two significant features of a data set given to you in the extract material. So, worth four marks, data questions, like I've just said, this is really important. The word significant especially is very important. To find two significant points of comparison or to find two significant features of a given data set. The data set can be a huge variety. It could be a bar chart, line chart, pie chart. Um, it could be an index. It could be just be a table of data. It could be anything. So be prepared for that. Practice in that respect will help you identify key significant features or significant points of comparison from various data sets. Look at those and then you'll kind of get to grips with the variety of visual data that can come your way. Now, this is important. The word significant. The examiners use it because in their mind, significance implies that the student will have looked at the entire range of data. So the data is from 2000 to 2016. Then for your point to be significant, it needs to be clear that you've looked at the range of data. That's important. you looked at everything. The point you make will then make that very clear. That's significant, all right? looking at the entire range. If the data is from 1970 to 2015, again, the point you make needs to be clear that you've considered the entire range of data. You might think, well, how on earth do I do that? It's actually really simple. You pick any of these five points, whatever's relevant for the given data set that comes your way, and whatever the question is asking. So if it's significant points of comparison, you're looking at comparisons between two variables. If it's significant features, you've only got one variable, you're looking at something significant to do with that variable, given the data uh, in front of you. So, I've said comparisons here, if it's just significant feature, ditch comparison, you're just looking for the high point, for example, of that one variable the low point for that one variable, the average for that one variable. But if it's a significant point of comparison, you're looking at high points comparing the two variables, low points comparing the two variables. And each of these five things, if you write these things down, it implies that you've looked at the entire range of data. You can't do any of these things without looking at the range. So these five things constitute significant. It's going to guarantee you getting the marks. That's so important because um, Students have fallen down in the past, not focusing enough on that word significant. Picking um, data to analyze which isn't really relevant, given what the question is asking. So, what is significant? What constitutes significance? Well, looking at high points in the data. So if it's a significant point of comparison, comparing the high points of two variables, comparing the low points of two variables. If it's just significant features, then the high point of this variable, the low point of this variable. All right? It could be looking at trends, so maybe it's downward trends or upward trends. Maybe it's downward trends in one specific period. Maybe it's upward trends in one specific period. Maybe as one variable has gone or shown an upward trend, the other has shown a downward trend. Maybe in the same period of time, both have shown upward trends. Again, fantastic to look at trends. Maybe it's looking at changes in variables. So maybe um, over a period of time, one variable was always positive, the other variable was always negative. Maybe at one key point, both variables went negative, I don't know. It could be changes in variables, that's important to note. It could be comparisons of averages over time. If you're able to work out averages, that's a very, very powerful thing to do. That's for a significant point of comparison. If it's just significant feature, then looking at an average for that variable is significant, absolutely. But the key thing is once you've done that, this thing in black, you need to make two significant points of comparison or two significant features depending on how the question is worded. But remember, just writing things down will only get you the first mark. The second mark for each point you make must be backed with data, right? So data is where that second mark comes from, data. So don't just say, ah, look, you know, in 2012 or whatever, the high point for this variable was this, Whereas in 2011, the other variable reached a high point, full stop. No. What were those high points? Make that clear. Back up what you say with actual data. Take the data from the visual table or bar chart or pie chart, whatever it is, that's in front of you. Okay? That's important. Without the data, you can't score the full marks. 
So each point you make is worth two marks, one for the point itself, i.e. what's in green, one for the data. Do that twice and you've got your four marks. So these should be very simple, but they're very easy not to score four marks if you don't follow all of this guidance. So practice, do loads of questions, get really good at it, and then in the exam nothing will scare you, especially looking at the visual data, the different types. This is where things can get a bit tricky. So when you come across all these different types of data and you are comfortable at looking at significant features or significant points of comparison for the variety of data that can come your way, only then can you guarantee success. Thanks so much for watching guys, hopefully now you can smash these questions. I'll see you all in the next video.